Hi there, I'm Darren Williams from FandangleProductions.com uh, Welcome to part 8 of the tutorial on how to build a GIF viewer a Python uh, program that uses uh, WX Python widgets and the way we design that is by using WX Form Builder OK, so our last tutorial we've added added the directory uh, OK, reading the directory or the GIF files in the directory we haven't got any code for that as yet and just check yes we've created an event now we want to that's the directory uh, box size so we want to minimize that and we're going to create another box sizer now uh, you need to listen very carefully here because this can be very confusing the reason why if we look at the original program that I built it actually works um, minimize that open that okay so we have the uh, GIF directory here, we set that up there, and then there's a list box, okay. And next to the list box is the uh, animation widget for a GIF that's along here. So we've been building these. Uh, this is a vertical. Uh huh. That's a directory. That's a vertical. That one there, have to delete that, it's in the wrong place. Okay, so, and there it is there, the directory uh, box size of which is a vertical, which means the next one will go directly underneath because panel main is also uh, a vertical, which means every other uh, whatever goes after the main panel will be a vertical okay so I'll close that off it's compute box sizes can be confusing okay so what I've done is I've created a box sizer that's attached to the main the panel and I've called that panel but there's no way of uh, controlling if you want to expand any widgets so we add another box sizer on that and we call it panel main and it does have the expand on it and we can adjust putting proportion one meaning fill the whole screen we can put a border on it too okay now we added the box sizer for our GIF directory and that's a vertical so on our main we want to add another one and that will be a vertical uh, but this one we're going to call it split the name is split and the border is zero we want no border on it okay then we add another box sizer to the split and we call this one HOR's split HOR once again no border and we're going to make that a horizontal rather than vertical okay so when we look at this our split is vertical now our split horizontal is horizontal now what we'll do is we'll add a sizer for the list box here which will be horizontal meaning it'll look as though it's vertical here and then we'll add another uh, which under here that will be horizontal uh, for the GIF the animated GIF which are here on the other side and that will be horizontal too and that's how we're able to split this in the middle using box sizes Okay, so we got the horizontal split. Now we want to add 
a list box so we call this list box and this one is a vertical that's our first split okay we don't want any borders and then we want to add another box sizer to this and we call this GIF file as in GIF file and we leave it as a vertical once again we want no border and then on the GIF file we add a list box okay and we call that list box GI files as in GIF files okay click here we don't have a name on there it's just got list box 2 we'll click here and then it updates alright so now we will save that now looking at our design there's our list box now I know that the original was 300 wide which will allow for long names so we go over here we're in the list box get files size the width we want to make that 300 we click the height we don't change the height we want to keep that at zero, uh, minus 1 which means if we have this as expand we want the height to expand but we want to restrict the width to 300 okay then we go down here and we choose proportion 1 and I prefer border of 10 okay and there we go yep and it doesn't adjust that way if we do it this way it will adjust vertically okay so there we are we've just added a list box that's it that's for adding the list box um, and next tutorial I'll explain how to add the code to populate the list box so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial so till the next tutorial goodbye